In part one of poliomyelitis, we were looking at skeletal muscle fibers, which in some areas looked fairly normal. In that, we could see good striations. And other than the fact that the fibers looked a little bit uh, thinner than they should have been, really did not look terribly abnormal. And you can see the striations, and you can see striations all over very nicely, but the fibers just don't look as thick as they normally should be. In addition, we went to an area in which the uh, striations were lost. You could barely uh, make out the fact that there were fibers anymore, whereas there were some residual of striations here, and you can see a little bit here. In this area, they look completely lost and collapsed and surrounded by the connective tissue cells, which are normally between the fibers. This was fiber atrophy, fiber dropout, and we asked why. Well, let's uh, continue to solve this mystery by looking at the spinal cord. Here is a spinal cord. Here is the ventral portion, the ventral horn. Here is the dorsal or posterior horn. Here is the ventral or anterior horn. Here's your little Honda logo along here. All of this is gray matter out here, predominantly neurons. All of this stuff out here is predominantly white, man, white matter or uh, ascending and descending myelinated uh, tracts throughout the spinal cord. Instantly, in the ventral or anterior horns, we could see an area like this, which doesn't look normal. So let's zoom in on it and figure out why. Well, the reason why it looks abnormal is because it is. We can see that there is some inflammatory process going on in this ventral or anterior horn. And although in areas it looks like it is perivascular, like we see with many viral infections of the central nervous system, we can also see that this inflammatory cell infiltrate extends out into the uh, uh, outside of the blood vessels into the portion of the gray matter in which it is doing damage. And of course, in this portion of the gray matter, it is destroying anterior or ventral motor neurons, which are supplying the skeletal muscle. The overwhelming most common virus to do this in a fairly predictable, specific fashion is poliomyelitis. The polio vi virus, polio, the virus that causes poliomyelitis, is the chief cause of this type of pattern. And this is exactly why people with polio get muscle disease, because these motor neurons here in the ventral horn are being destroyed by this inflammatory viral uh, inflammation process, and I thank you very much.